Hey everybody, and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. Uh, here we are using Jamovi version 1.8.2, and I've loaded all of the modules available, and so that's why this top bar here is full of it, <laughs> full of it. Um, but we are going to talk about one of those modules today, so I'll pull up the module list here. Um, we are going to look at uh, Survey MV, uh, and I have some survey data that I used with Google Chrome. So I'll pull that up. So I did a film pedagogy survey last year, and you know, Chrome uh, or or I should say, not Chrome, but um, Forms, Google Forms, you know, displays your your data as as it thinks it should, you know, with pie charts and, and bar graphs and things like that. But what if we wanted to do a, a little bit differently? So you, what you do is you um, install, you go to Manage Installed, okay, and um, it will be Survey MV Survey Plots 0 .05 by Ravi Selker. Um, it'll say install, and so you put that there. You can also hide or remove them once they are installed. So hide um, would hide it from the menus uh, in your list. Where it, it doesn't doesn't appear as its own module on here. It actually goes into exploration, and it's down here at the bottom. Survey MV Survey Plots. So let's open up that data that I just showed you, and we'll jump into the Survey Plot module. Okay, so here I have the data. Um, all sorts of of uh, questions here where um, we have timestamp. And so this is not going to be a, a data that we are going to use. Um, we have a lot of string data. This is from a CSV. So we are going to attempt to uh, use this data full of nominal and text textual inputs from a CSV file into survey plots. So let's go ahead and open that up. And let's swing this back here so we can see we don't need all of it. So here we have um, the survey plots. And um, we're going to turn off a uh, variable. This oh, Nope, description doesn't do anything. That's because I think I downloaded it directly from Google. Now, if I open it on Excel to modify the CSV file, I think I could change this to that. But variable description would be, you know, the full what year is it or what is your gender or what is your age kind of thing. But we could also rename those as age, gender, etc. cetera. Um, and so here we have a very simple input output uh, situation, a couple of options under these collapsible menus. So by default, you've got a grouped bar versus a stacked bar, the radio button. So it's either or for nominal or ordinal plots. Um, we can get our frequency labels in plots or on the x-axis, so we'll look at that. You can get the frequency uh, type, so it's either counts, so whole numbers, or you can change that into percentages. And then you can choose whether or not you want to hide your missing values. Um, continuous plots, uh, there are better options for continuous plots in Jamovi, but you know, if you're working with the same data set and you just want to sort of put everything in the same module, then you can get violin, um, box, or, or data, um, which is interesting. I, I'm interested to see what data here means. Um, I have not tested this yet, so we are testing it together on this. Uh, so uh, what year is it? Uh, no, we'll not do that uh, because that was a question. Uh, let's see. Indicate your highest degree earned. Let's let's see what that looks like. So that would be a grouped bar. I kind of like that, to be honest with you. We've got our frequencies here. It's counted. But if we do percentages, I kind of like that. And let's see what the stacked bar looks like. Um, that would be the. Yeah. OK, so that's this is sort of a ggplot uh, two stacked bar. I kind of like that. That's. Um, the group bar isn't terrible, but the stacked bar also isn't terrible. So we've got 100% and 6% are uh, at the BABS level, 73% are at the doctoral level. One thing I'd like to do is w I would like to, you know, switch these. But the, the what what uh, uh, survey MV slash ggplot is doing in this case is it is doing it in alphabetical order. So there's where you have the the, the switch there. And that's why it puts because uh, it's using the B, the D and the M as far as the responses on this uh, to go through. And um, we could do that. Let's get a continuous variable. How many courses do you typically teach? Let's see what that. OK, so that does violin. Um, which I am assuming is this uh, this shape here. And then the box plot is the line with the box, of course. And then I guess the data would be the dots. Yes. So you can either have it clean or you can not have it clean. You can have the scatter on there. So uh, continuous plots are going to be a combination of uh, how many, uh, a combination of these two major kinds of of plots. And then you can have the scatter in there. And then the uh, nominal or ordinal plots are going to be bar, uh, bar based. We can do counts. Now, if you wanted to do this separately and then on, on the x-axis, I see you can change where the frequency. Um, I kind of like that better than not having, than just having that. Eh. Now, if I could make these vertical bars or as opposed to horizontal bars, that would be nice. Those would be called column plots, uh, I guess, in the nomenclature here. And so that's why you're getting um, bar as the word here. But as, as more traditionally uh, set, uh, the frequency being the actual values being on the uh, uh, x axis is probably better. But if we change this to frequency, mm, that's where in the plot works better, I think. So you'd want to you'd want to sort of play around with it. But that's how you would get survey plots to look exactly the same across all of it. And then you can save these. You can export these images 
as uh, PDFs, but you can also save them as PNGs, SVGs, or uh, EPS files. Um, PNG, probably the best option um, for file size and clarity. Uh, SVGs for messing around with, and uh, that same same thing with EPS, um, you can mess around with them. PDFs, if you just want to export it into, um, in, in, into a document directly, you can have this uh, sort of all together and, and, and it would be it would be nice. So you could do that. Um, I don't know. Or you could just copy them as objects onto your clipboard and um, post paste it into your your. Um, I guess you could paste this. Let's see if I could paste this into Twitter. I know you can't see this right now, but I'm just doing uh, I'm just seeing whether or not you could like tweet this directly. You can it will paste it in as a uh, it will paste it in as an image. I want to discard that. So um, the, what the, just the issue that I see here um, and something to consider is the how many courses do you typically teach in a term and then it, get, it gets cut off. Um, it, it's right down here at the bottom. But again, it's using that as a um, it's using that as a as a X axis label. And the one thing that survey MV cannot do is um, change labels. So you are you are. Sort of. Constrained by that, but let's let's. Let's do one last thing here because I want to try something. Let's get rid of you. Um, and then let's do highest degree obtained as a grouping variable. Let's get on the x axis and plots here. Ooh, yeah, okay. This doesn't look super great. Because there's not a, a good amount of grouping that goes that goes into this. But this is how a grouping variable would, would work. Um, so you could do um you do what is what, what what is your age here and you can go down and see what people's ages are i don't it, it's something things like that you could use grouping whatever makes sense um my oh, there's age so that's frequency what is your age there we go a couple of older bachelor's people um yeah so that's how you would do grouping on these plots and again uh so this is just a really quick way to do it now if you're already in google chrome if you're already doing chrome and forms. I don't know why I keep saying Chrome. If you're already doing Google Forms, then these images can be exported as well. You can copy the chart to the clipboard. Like I said, I can, I can make another. Oh no, that does not get. Uh, you can't just copy that into uh, a tweet. That's interesting. Okay, good to know that these do not copy into tweet. You also cannot drag them out of here. So if you wanted to do something a little bit better, a little bit. A, a, a little bit um, uh, have more control over it, I would say, then maybe you do want to take this data and export it. But that's survey MV, survey MV in Jamovi. Uh, if you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more tutorials on stats programs, tech programs, and psychology content. Thank you for watching.